In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to export textured meshes from Trimble Rillworks into Google Earth. I'm going to start out by selecting a group of objects that I want to export. And then from the File menu, I'm going to select Export Selection. This will export as a KMZ file. I'm just selecting a location, giving the file a name now. When exporting to Google Earth, you can select a position on an object and assign a latitude and longitude, or you can select a UTM zone. In this case, I'm exporting to UTM zone 13 north. I'm just giving it a quick description, and then I'm going to click Export. The file creation process usually just takes a few seconds. You can see the progress bar down in the lower left corner. Now that the file is created, I'm just going to open up the folder where I chose to save that file. I've already got Google Earth open, so I'm just going to drag that file from the folder into Google Earth. Once we open the KMZ, Google Earth will automatically zoom in on, uh, on that location. I'm just going to pan around here and find my model real quick. Okay, there it is. Let's zoom in on it. So the location is looking really good just have a small problem with the elevation but that's uh, it's easy to change and, and to be expected actually so I'm just gonna right click on the object over in the places menu and open up the properties and from there I'm just gonna click on the altitude tab and then I can go ahead and and change that elevation here I'm just gonna type in a value it's gonna move it down take a look at it looks pretty good and and there you have it model inside of Google Earth so, now that you've seen the way that you do it with uh, UTMs, let's take a look at how to do it with the latitude and longitude. Like before, I've selected all my objects. From the File menu, I'm going to select Export Selection, and uh, pick a location, and give the file a name. I'm just going to change it slightly from last time. Click Save. Now this time, I'm going to select the option for User Defined. Then I need to select um, a location on my object. I'm just going to click over here in the corner. And then I need to assign a latitude and longitude to that location. To do that, um, because I don't already have coordinates, I'm going to use Google Earth. And what I'm going to do is just put a push pin on that same corner. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the coordinates straight out of the um, the properties for that push pin just makes it easier so I don't have to type it in okay so now I just need to grab the longitude again I'm just copying it and then pasting it in here in real works want to make sure I change this to west and then I need to update the description I'm just going to put in something that makes sense and then click on export and again the export just takes a, a few seconds now I just need to browse to the folder where I sent that file. And uh, like before, I can just drag and drop to put it into Google Earth. But if Google Earth, Google Earth wasn't already open, I could in fact just double click on the icon and it would go ahead and open Google Earth for me. Now in this case, I didn't have any elevation uh, reference when I exported this. So it in fact, put the model down below the Google Earth surface. But I can fix this the same way that I did before. Just right click on the object and from the properties menu, go to the altitude tab and I can type in a value. Uh, it looks like I wasn't perfect on my altitude guess. So I'm just going to open that back up. And instead of typing in a value, I'm just going to use this slider. Now, if your model is up in the air when you first bring it in, it's easier to use the um, enter a value because you can type in a negative value to move it down. The slider uh, just goes down to zero, so it wouldn't allow you to do that. Now, if you need to apply any additional transformations, which you may need to if you use the single point latitude and longitude export, you can do that when the properties are open. You'll see these grab handles that are up here on the shaded area. Now that allows you to go in and change things like the scale. You can click on the corners or on any of the edges. And you can also click in the middle if you need to do a freehand pan to move the model around. Now if you need to rotate, just click at the top to rotate. And that about does it. 
So thanks for taking the time to watch this video.